So I'm running my first boards on my pick and place machine, which is a Charm High CHM T48 VA. And the boards I'm running are a really simple board. It's got about maybe 10 components on it. This is a fancy power supply for a Arduino Nano. That single sided two layer board. And I don't have a stencil for this board, so I'm using this solder paste dispenser here that I got from Stan Rubin Associates SRA. And so basically with the foot the foot pedal down there, I set up the timing and the pressure and the the um, time thing and I just basically went down and put a little piece of solder paste on all the pads that I'm gonna f to do. And I have it in my machine here. And I'll show you what those, what this solder looks like there. So you can kind of see I have it kind of pushed around or placed on all the pads that I want. <clears throat> and I have uh, 0.1, 0.1 microfarad capacitors in uh, number 12 and 1K in number 11. And then over here I have the larger parts. And this is M-Tray 60, 61, 62. And I have a little piece of tape here that I stuck down with just a piece of double back tape. And it's a little thick, but it's got a lot of give to it. It's not very stiff. So we're going to go ahead and run one of these boards. So over here, I hit the run key over here. And I'm going to hit... First thing is I need to move the M stack position for the second resistor here. So we'll come over to edit. And I come down here, and I played around with this quite a lot. So I'm on this guy here, and I'll hit edit down here, and I'll hit coordinate set. And you'll see that it moved way over there. Oh, I wasn't on M stack. Um, what do we do? Go back. We have to go back over here. And we had an M stack, and then we're going to come down. We're going to hit this one. So M stack is the material stack. And you'll see that I'm on 63. So hit edit over here, and then we'll hit the coordinate set. And you'll see that it moved over above my tape. So this is the down camera here. And we're seeing the down camera view over here, so I'm just going to move it over. And I just have the, the, uh, the tape cut off for just this one part. My table's kind of kind of moves around a lot. And uh, so I, I didn't cut off. The whole resistor string isn't set here. is isn't free to go. So I just set that. So now I only have one of those. There's only one of those resistors on the whole design. So we'll come back over here and we're going to go ahead and run a board. Why work file not saved? Confirm return. Uh, well, if we cancel that, I think it goes back. Let me try this one. Okay, let's let's go set that again. M stack. You know, as you can tell, I'm not quite fluid in my. No, it's set. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So everything's done there. So I'm going to hit load. And then the first thing we want to do is hit this plus key down here. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring me out the calibration marks. And what I ended up doing was I had some calibration issues because the way it automatically figures out which calibration points is it picks the most upper uh, left position on the board and the, the lower right. And it turns out that that big, that big component there was... Um, that's a surface mount a voltage regulator it's pretty hard to find the center of that so what I ended up doing is adding a couple hole these couple holes to the uh, file and then I just said don't place those don't place components in those positions so and then I, I named them mark mark one and mark two so we come over here and you'll see that you know we are above the upper upper left and that's pretty good uh, I'm gonna move it over just a hair that's good enough and I'll hit set and then I'm gonna come down here and hit mark 2 
Well, my index finger doesn't like to hit that corner there. And that actually looks pretty good there. So I'll hit set, just hit back here. And we're going to hit the close up here. So now we're ready to run. And I made some mistakes here. I, the reason why it's so dark in here is because, you know, the up light, I had to turn it off because I didn't want to confuse the camera. One last thing we're going to do over here is this is the work light button. So I can turn off the work light or turn it back on, which I'm going to leave it on. This thing here, this icon here shows you the up camera position for when it's, when it's placed into parts. So this is the last um, image that it took. So I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to hit run. And you're going to see over here, this is a good point right here, it's just comp ID. This is actually where it's going to start. So I'm going to start at comp component zero and I'm going to do a run here. Here we go. Okay, so it took about 30 seconds. It put down about 17 parts. And I don't quite have the positioning for this voltage regulator correct. Something is kind of off on this one. So I'm going to push that one back in place. And then I have two rather large electrolytic capacitors here. I'm just, I just put those down by hand. But if we look over here from the top and kind of knock this see here if I can get this to focus there we go we're pretty good we're, you know there's a resistor right there that's a little off I'll just push that back on and other than that I think we're good to go this one is a little uh, whacked so I have a few th 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 I have a few things to adjust and uh, other than that I think it looks pretty good I don't have it, like I said, I don't have a stencil, so this fine pitch part here, um, I just run a bead down all the pins and then I ended up, I end up cleaning it up with a little bit of solder wick afterwards, clean up the solder. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my reflow oven and we'll show you the, the end result here in just a minute. <laughs> So here's my board out of the right out of the reflow oven. So this regulator got a little twisted on the way in. This um, capacitor didn't quite make it onto the pad. Other than that, we look pretty good. So over here on this guy, this is that fine pitch part. Um, you know, I'm just running a bead down this these pads here because I don't have a stencil for it. And it, 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 there's a little extra solder on here because when I start to beat, I start over here and I run all the way across and this extra solder is getting sucked in there. So I'll have to figure that part out or just hit every one of these with uh, some solder wick. This cleanup operation here takes about 20 seconds for me to do. Other than that, it looks pretty good. The flux did burn off. Uh, there might be a little bit right there, but I'll just hit this with flux off and we'll be good. So that's about it. I'm not even going to fix this one. This looks, this, this held down okay. Uh, so the port, total board run here is probably about 35, 40 seconds. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.